Okay, so yeah, this is Rappers vs. Rappers and we're at Hip Hop Camp 2018. Um, yeah, so tell me your name, tell me tell me your group name, who am I sitting with here? Atari Jones. Atari Jones, nice yeah. to meet you, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're Linguist. Kind of linguist. 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 linguist, nice to meet you guys. Yeah. And all you guys are from, from where? Ohio. Ohio, perfect, man. Kentucky. Kentucky, okay. We border, yeah, okay. we just met here, but we live in border states. Yeah. That's yeah. cool, man. My, uh, my grandma lived in Hubbard, and I don't, Hubbard, Ohio, and I don't know if I've ever been to Kentucky, to be fair. Um, I tell people, though, when they, from here when they travel, not to go to the places like LA and New York, like everybody says. I says go to the, go to the states like Ohio or Kentucky where people don't ever say go to because they're really beautiful. Especially, like, especially during the Derby. You go Kentucky during Kentucky Derby. That's huge. It's all the way that's live. Huge. Yeah, it really. You, is. Might, you might bump into Michael Jordan or somebody, <laughs> Will Smith, whoever. Everybody's in Kentucky on Derby. That's perfect. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's slow. Yeah. Yeah. it's like a whole party in the city. All right, I'm gonna start this. Okay, so you guys know the rules of Jenga, yeah? Low key, Yo. I know you gotta. Oh, you don't have to put it on top? Yes. Mm. <laughs> 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 I'm just testing you guys. He's got to win. Calling it out. So, um, so all you guys have been to Europe before, yeah? And what, what do you think? Is, no, no, no. I this is your first, first time. First time. First time. Okay, okay. Well, welcome, man. Yeah, Thanks. cool. Bless. It's um. So then I'll ask this question, to you guys. What What do you think the the differences between the European hip hop market and the uh, U.S. hip hop market, as far as uh, not just fan base, but um, respect for the music? I feel like old school love, flavors love more. Uh, yeah. yeah. They, they have it's an a more open, different. They, they, I feel like they approach Europe here more along the line. Of, along, but the Europe approaches music more along the lines of how the U.S. used to approach rap music in like the '90s. Yeah, where you would have your your gangster rap, you would have you had a palette of everything. You know what I'm saying? Like the, they weren't really picking what you got to hear. If it was hot, people were fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Then it would get where it needed to be. And but and now it's kind of like we we sold our souls in the U.S. Right. It's like popularity, That's so. Deep. I mean, I always feel mm -hmm. like, I, it's true though, like I and I also feel like when you're the different guy though, you get treated differently too. People find more interest in you. So when you're like from the States and, <laughs> you know, people kind of, they, they, they um, I think that they respect it more. I mean, you've come all the way over here from a different country that's a little different than being a Czech rapper in, in, in here, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a different kind of vibe, I feel like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Super safe. And then what about, you, safe. as your first time in Europe, man, like what do you think, um, so I guess we're sitting, you know, we're sitting next to veteran uh, hip hop people who've toured, right? And then, yeah, you're, this is your first time here. Do you remember when it was your first time overseas? Like, oh, do you definitely. feel like you've, like as, as a rapper, like, do you, like it's a huge accomplishment, right? Like to be able to be in a different country, like making your music, like doing what you want. I think there's a point, I think in every rapper's career when they sit there and they're like, I'm a rapper now, you know what I mean? Like now, it's, now this is like official, you know what I mean? Like I, I'm, I'm really doing it. Like, um, tell me about your experience and then tell me about y'all's first experience. Um, well, how are you, how are you taking it in right now? Bro, it's mine, bro. Oh, you skip. To be honest. Yeah, uh, since I came like, okay, here, yeah, just different atmosphere, but it's all love, though. Yeah, okay, cool. And it's, uh, are you navigating well with the different languages? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Are you some to my homie over here. Yep. He's been helping me out. Perfect, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's, it's the crazy. simple things, though, for us, right? Because I know when we were first touring, it was shit like, how do we get our motherfucking clippers to work over this bitch so I can shake myself? With the out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. When, when so after shit smoking like they get ready to explode, you know what I'm saying? Like, or oh, just exploded. Or just explode. Yeah, That's we lost some too. clippers to motherfucking <laughs> European voltage. We lost some completely. Like when we were first coming, yeah, we had to break a few eggs to make this omelet. That we this, got. this very trip, I had to buy some for the first time in 20 years. I bought European clippers. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I left mine at home. But both the, they the what same? I brought the adapter. No, the hell no. No, because I brought my American clippers. Y'all gonna make me laugh too much. I'm gonna shake this match. I brought American clippers from a black beauty shop in Atlanta, made for black hair. This does not work the same. Yeah, yeah it's not the same <laughs> at all. As soon as he heard my clippers turn on, he was like, "Let me use them for a little bit." <laughs> as soon as they turned on, it's like hearing John Deere versus some old friend. And your style of rap, what would you consider? No, no, no. I call it like I call it street rap because it's real like for many years I rapped in subway stations and on the streets and um, I can't take that one. I'm taking this one. Um, 
And um, if anything, it's what I do. It's not necessarily what I say. Like I talk about real shit, like for sure. I talk about struggles and overcoming obstacles in my life and trying to push forward. But it's more of how I do it by sitting in a subway station, shaking back and forth while I'm rapping. I feel like it makes it authentic. And it, I mean, it is authentic, but it also, um, it's, to me, that's the core of hip hop. You know what I mean? And like, I go out, when I sit in my apartment all day, there's a point during the day when I get, I have to get out of the house. You know what I mean? I have to go. And if I'm not playing shows, the best next thing for me to do is go play on the streets. And uh, I meet genuine people out there because. You don't have to stop and listen to my music if you don't want to. You can keep on walking. But if you stop, to me, that's genuine. And so it's not only am I giving my heart out there, but the people that are listening are giving me their heart too. And that's important to me. It's not at a club. It's mostly like, okay, well, you're with this band. So these are your friends. These are your friends. When you're not playing, they're outside smoking a cigarette, blah, blah, blah. But um, when you do the street rap, you actually, you genuinely connect with the people. And it's, um, it's something that's... For me, it's the best thing. It's, it's how I live, it's, and it's taking me to the next level. I mean, I did it for survival, and now uh, I get to play this kind of stuff, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? I put the tats, too. Bro. Thank you, man. You know, all this has come from people who have seen me on the streets rapping, and tattoo artists, and been like, hey, I didn't have any cash to buy an album right now, but I'll give you a tattoo. Wow. Come by. And so it's like, That's it's been the love from the people, man. Like, really, like. I've been looking for a good tattoo uh, as a souvenir. I need, to, I need some ink now. I need yeah, well, you're up. in Prague. It's, things are super cheap here, man. It's yeah. Like you might come down. I'm ready. Yeah. Right. I'm leaving him alone, fam. Yeah. You better, you better commit. I ain't committing. Yeah, you better commit. It's you and him that got these uh, uh, hey, random hey, random squagglers hey, hanging all around right here. Class. This is life right here. You got to deal with our shit. You know what I'm saying? We, we left some obstacles for you. Man. Which would, I guess, I guess yeah. would lead me to my next question. Nigga, you break, is, you buy. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, Damn, fool. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Alright, I'm gonna commit. Yeah. I'm gonna commit. <laughs> you better commit. Like oh, shit. Oh, oh. oh. See that, boy? That was, that, that was right. That's commitment. Yeah. Oh. I committed, boy. Oh. Yeah. Committed. You nice. seen it. Oh. <laughs> you ain't gonna damn mess with what you're doing. Yeah. Yo, I'll mess. see what's Clean going it on. Clean it up. Oh, yeah. clean, slick. Okay. I made uh, that happen. <laughs> no, I made that happen in spite of what you was over there doing. <laughs> so that would uh, that would put me into my next question, which is, um, in 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 life, there's obstacles. In the hip hop game, there's obstacles. What could you tell somebody who looks up to you guys or who follows in the footsteps of wanting to be a rapper? Um, yeah. what, what is something that you could tell them to keep them pushing, especially in a day and age when there's so or much artists, shit music or, or artists, artists, just in general. But when you're when you have a young guy that sees rappers that are are making it that are just making fun of the game in a sense when when they're trying to make it like what could you tell them you know the, the main thing for me of importance <laughs> like when I when I really think about it is if you're doing what's going on right now okay. then you're too late. Yeah. That's, that's right if in line with what, what you're doing, doing right now. You're yeah, too late. if you're doing what the rest of the game is doing right now, then you're too late. Too late. Stretch your imagination. You know what I'm saying? Like, be a kid with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, enjoy your imagination. Push the level. Make whatever music you grew to. What you want to fuck with. You know what right. I'm saying? Just be an artist. Just be, be yeah. Music, you know, yeah. because if you're imitating what's out already, then you're already too late. You know what I'm saying? You've already missed the boat. And kind of a paraphrase, I was going to say, like, respect the trend. But don't follow the trend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, okay. like make your own path. But like, you know, show pay homage yeah. to what's going on currently. Definitely. Like, don't just be all the way on the island by yeah. yourself. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But like, respect the trend, but don't follow. But be the trend. be your own person. Be your own be your person. Own. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's because the trend <laughs> might rub off on you in a good way. You already went. Yeah. I just played. Oh, yeah. Oh right shit! There. I'm late. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's like, all right, I'm about to go back for it. That's good. Oh, oh. stuff. Put my commitment trick work again. Mm. 
Physics. <laughs> Physics. Mm. And so tell me, um, so if you could tell him something about what uh, the do's and don'ts of a festival in Europe, what would you say? The do's and don'ts of a festival? I mean, honestly, the show. Or of just being in Europe. Yeah. Well, for the festival, it's easy. For a festival, you just gotta show up on time. Yeah, okay. All he took it. All they care about is time. You show up on time. Because, like, the hard work is close. Pass the buck. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, festivals is kind of like the cherry on top of the cake. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's they in Europe, they lay out festivals so smooth. Like, the, the best organized. advice is, like, don't ruffle no feathers, don't burn no bridges, because, like, the relationship you have now might bring you back 10 for the next 10, 15 years. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, and, and then you build a little spur off from there. Just make sure you do your job on a professional level. Whereas clubs, you should still do the same thing. <laughs> but if you so had happened to have a nigga moment, you can say fuck that club and find another club. It's hard to find, like, hard to find another festival. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, for real. They it's build reputations on the festivals for yeah. sure. Like, I, I love the fact that I get to interact with a bunch of people and like see them throughout their whole day, not just for like one minute, but it's like we wake up and we eat breakfast with our neighbors. Like we have a hotel, but we're also camping. So it's like, like we like to like get out there and like, like just, just be with the people. And I think that that's really cool. And, um, the, the festival. Yeah. I fucked up a lot of, I fucked up a lot of shoes doing that shit yeah. when, we, when we first started out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he didn't, he didn't you go. went and now it's your turn. Or then you no, just, I went. I said that, again. it's your turn oh, again. Fuck, yeah. All right, it's it's real, fam. Yeah. He was on it. He was like, we turn <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. You, you, you just, he just raised the stakes. Yeah. Man. They Incredible. like sold the stakes. He's high in this motherfucker right now. He sold them. Man, he just raised yeah. them, man. Ooh. You played me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that is some fuckery right there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that was great. The heat was on. See, in most games you have winners, but in this game you just have one loser. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's the that's the thing about this. Yeah. It's different. I don't know what to do. Yeah, that was a very mess. Yeah, you never. No, you was about to go crazy. We're all taking risks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all taking risks, bro. Yo, this shit is. Okay. Got him one. Yeah, man. Oh. I'm gonna destroy this shit right here. Get my phone that shit. I'm gonna fuck this up. How do I do this? I'm gonna fuck this up. How do I do this? <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. Damn. <laughs> like a motherfucking G and a half. <laughs> oh, shit. It's getting it's looking real delicate up in this world. It's looking real delicate. Oh, damn, it's almost back to me. Yeah. <laughs> You just knew it was gonna be destroyed by the time it came back. Yeah, this is real. I just started recording. Yeah. Yeah. This is All Star game. This, this is this is the game of passing the buck, fam. This is literally teaching you how to pass the buck. We said fuck the questions. Nigga. It's about the game right now. Jenga. <laughs> little things in life, guys. Yeah. We're gonna pull out the Jumanji next, nigga. Let's go to the jungle. <laughs> oh okay. man. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> I want to support you right now, but I think we're coming to an end. You know, let's see. <laughs> 
Can you guys tell me one of your most memorable um, show experiences, or something that it doesn't have to be funny or wild? It could be something that like touched your heart, or something that something that. Um, Mine was hip hop camp. The first time. This is our third time doing hip hop camp. Uh huh. And the first time we opened up MOP. Okay. And watching them rock. And that was saying, someone you looked up to, and you know, it's like. We, we kind of learn how to perform watching New York rappers. You know what I'm saying? Like, and just performing in New York clubs. We were garbage. And then we're seeing people like MOP and Tone Deaf. And, and, and I'm just, this NYC, they just had that that spirit. And to see them rock 25,000 people, but that's how many people was there that year. It's crazy. Yeah. And we perform right before them in front of the same amount of people. Yeah. And we just you know, tried to warm it up. Yeah. Yeah. We did our, did our thing, but they were legendary. Yeah, they're like, legends. It wasn't about if you liked their music. It was like if you was there, it was just a vibe. It was yeah. incredible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Energy was real. electric. For real. But and that, that's one of those things when you're That was one of the proudest like, moments I, I, I had performing, actually, with yeah. it uh, was like talking to Billy Dance afterwards. And you're like, man, I created this. I knew Billy Dance was like, man. Y'all ripped that shit. I was like, no, nah, y'all body that shit, but you know, we that appreciate that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, shit, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Doing the hillside shuffle. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Oh. I don't know. Oh, shit. Damn, everyone is two and two, eh? Destruction. So that's <laughs> rappers versus rappers, yeah. And I lost, and that's cool. But thank you guys very much. I man, appreciate thanks, that. Man. Thank, thank you, guys, man. Yeah, yeah, thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your time here. Man, you as well. <laughs> Keep doing your thing. That, that, that shit went long, man. Yeah. That was one of the longest games of Jenga ever played. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but we, we, we honestly all did yeah. really well. Yeah, because we saw so. it. just proved at this table we all some buck pants. Look at the rap If you get tired of the rap game. We're setting each other up for failure. Yeah. To the victims. Go to the victims.